Welcome back to Bit Break. Today I'm going to recommend short story collections for every kind of reader. So no matter what genre you usually read in, I'm going to recommend you a short story collection that I think you will love. So probably when you think of short stories, the first genre that comes to mind would be literary fiction. A lot of short story collections are very literary. So let's start there, a good place to start. I've got two really good collections to tell you about. So one that came out at the beginning of this year that I have mentioned a lot on this channel already because I loved it so much is The Office of Historical Corrections by Danielle Evans. So this is a collection of short stories plus a novella called The Office of Historical Corrections. And they're all different stories, all different characters and settings, but they all have this shared theme, so the collection works really well together. They're all about historical corrections, in some way kind of correcting the wrongs of the past, or changing the narrative from the past. They were so, so beautifully written and thought-provoking and just absolutely loved them, so can't recommend that enough. But I also have, very excitingly, a brand new short story collection to tell you about. Coming out in just a couple of weeks is the book Objects of Desire by Claire Sustanovich, which is a collection of 11 short stories, all kind of on the theme of desire and yearning in women's lives. So they're all kind of filled with very subtle drama, very real life scenarios that kind of take you through the different stages of women's lives from the brink of adulthood through your 20s and 30s into middle age. And it kind of talks about some of the possibilities of life just quietly elapsing. Terrifying concept. <laughs> so just reading from the book description here, it says, with powerful observation and mordant humor, Claire Sestanovich opens up a fictional world where intimate and uncomfortable truths lie hidden in plain sight. Sounds so good. So those are a couple of literary fiction recommendations, but short stories don't have to be too serious. If you're looking for something funny, I recommend The Salmon of Doubt by Douglas Adams. So Douglas Adams is the writer of The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy and that full series. And The Salmon of Doubt is a collection of his writings, of short stories, of his comic musings on life, and it contains the first few chapters of a new Dirk Gently novel that he was writing at the time of his death. So again, reading from the description, just to give you an idea of the range of subjects that Douglas Adams can manage to make funny. These musings cover everything from his school trousers to malt whiskey, from the letter Y to his own nose, via atheism, hangovers and fried eggs. If you're a fan of horror, I recommend Salt Slow by Julia Armfield. So this is a collection of very subtly creepy stories. They're not full-blown horror books, but Julia Armfield is a big horror fan and you can really tell in these creepy little stories. They are so engaging and mesmerizing. These stories are all about bodies. They are queer, they're gothic, they're really haunting. So horror fans, you will love these. Next, for sci-fi fantasy fans, you will love the collection How Long Till Black Future Month by N.K. Jemisin. So this is a really sharp, powerful collection that inserts fantasy and magic into the everyday and uses this to really draw parallels between the fantasy world that she creates and imagines and some of the worst parts of modern society. So we look at racism, we look at climate change, all through this really clever parallel universe lens. Fans of sci-fi fantasy will already know and love N.K. Jemisin, so definitely check that one out. If you lean more towards the sci-fi side of that than the fantasy side of that, then I think you should read the collection Exhalation by Ted Chang. So Ted Chang is the author of lots of short stories, including the story that was adapted into the movie Arrival. And Exhalation is actually his second short story collection. It's been praised by Barack Obama, and it really grapples with really fundamental questions about what it means to be human. Ted Chang uses sci-fi to answer these kind of questions, the most fundamental questions about the meaning of life, and also to imagine the answers to questions that no one else has even imagined asking yet. He has an incredible brain. And then if you lean more towards fantasy or kind of surrealism, then you will love China Mieville. He does write more broadly across the whole sci-fi fantasy spectrum, but his collection Three Moments of an Explosion is mostly fantasy and really, really surreal stories. There are 28 stories in here. And again, just like Ted Chang, he really uses these to explore questions about what it means to be human 
in an unquiet world. And then if you wanted to go full fantasy, I would go for Dream Songs by George R. R. Martin, who is obviously the author of Game of Thrones, or the A Song of Ice and Fire series. He has written a lot over the course of his career. He's written a lot of novels, a lot of short stories, and Dream Songs is a kind of career-spanning collection of some of his best fantasy stories. If you're looking for dragons, if that's the level of fantasy you want, this is the collection for you. If you're looking for romantic stories, I couldn't resist giving two recommendations here. The first is Love and Colour by Bolu Babalola, which is a collection of retellings of love stories from history, from so many different mythologies across the globe. It's a combination of really classic, timeless stories combined with bold, modern, colourful storytelling. So I had to recommend you that one. But also I think if you're looking for some more classic, gentle, romantic stories, you will also love A Glove Shop in Vienna by Ava Ibbotson. Ava Ibbotson is a beloved author and this is a really cosy collection of gorgeous romantic stories that will take you from 19th century Vienna to the wild moors of Northumberland. If you're a fan of crime, then you should read Death at Sea by Andrea Camilleri. Camilleri is the author of the Inspector Montalbano series of novels, but if you want to get to know the character for the first time, or maybe you already love those novels and just want to have a few little mini adventures with him, then this is a collection of eight short stories about Inspector Montalbano's adventures. They're very fun stories, very funny stories, and also, as well as being murder mysteries and crime stories, they also involve a lot of Inspector Montalbano eating a lot of delicious sounding Sicilian food. So that's very cosy crime. If you're more of a thriller reader, then I recommend Intrigo by Hakan Nessa. This is a collection of short stories and novellas by Hakan Nessa, who is one of Sweden's biggest crime writers. These are all pretty dark stories, all about secrets coming to light, lies being exposed, and the past coming back to haunt people who thought they had escaped it. Historical fiction fans should read A Tyranny of Petticoats. This is a YA anthology, so it's got a really impressive range of authors who have written stories for this collection. We have authors like Marie Lu, Marissa Mayer, Y.S. Lee, so it's a really bold feminist collection. You also get a bit of a crossover in here with some straight historical fiction and some historical fantasy, but all with just amazing heroines leading the way. And finally, if your favourite thing to read is classics, well, there are a bunch of really great classic short story collections. For example, Prelude by Catherine Mansfield. So Catherine Mansfield is a New Zealand author who wrote really well about women's inner lives and actually about human psychology more broadly. So Prelude is a really good example of that and the whole collection is just filled with her amazing insight into the way humans' minds work. So there you go, short stories for every kind of reader. If you're a complete beginner to short stories, I actually have made a video that I will link to here of short stories for people who've never read one before. So the ones in this video are a really great place to start and I would love to know your recommendations in the comments below of your favourite short story collections. See you next time.